Sony Pictures released the first official trailer for the next entry in the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Spider-Man series, Spider-Man No Way Home. The trailer revealed glimpses of what is to come in the life of Peter Parker following the events of his last film, Spider-Man Far From Home. As Peter deals with the ramifications of having his secret identity revealed to the world, he turns to Doctor Strange for help, hoping the Sorcerer Supreme has a spell to undo what Mysterio did in the last film. Predictably, the spell goes horribly awry and Peter is left to contend with a slew of new villains and challenges as the multiverse seemingly falls apart around him. The trailer hadn't been released for even a day before people began picking it apart in true MCU fashion. For those looking to pick a bit more than others, there's something about Doctor Strange that has many fans suspicious of the wizard. Could there be more than meets the… uh… eye when it comes to this multiversal magician? The speculation surrounding Doctor Strange kicked off with a Twitter thread made by the great Boss Logic, saying, I for one think that Doctor Strange is suspect, especially since we are getting introduced to the Dark Doctor in What If. Probably a stretch, but he looks sus. Before long, people began commenting on the post, sharing what aspects of Doctor Strange seemed a bit off in this trailer. One reply added, I honestly wouldn't be surprised to find out that Steven has been in control of everything the entire movie and that he's just teaching Peter a lesson, because my dude was quick to use a dangerous, reality-altering spell for little to no reason. Plenty of other characters in the Marvel Universe can mess with the multiverse, most notably Mephisto, who did precisely that in the One More Day comic storyline. On top of Strange's seemingly out-of-character use of a dangerous spell, one user noticed that this Doctor Strange still has the eye of Agamotto in the trailer, despite the artifact getting destroyed by Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. Unless the Strange we know rebuilt it without the Time Stone, this might indicate some multiversal interference from another Strange. The movie may explain why he has another Infinity Stone. After all, there's like 11 teen of those sitting around in the Time Variance Authority desk drawers. There's another theory about Doctor Strange from Twitter that really puts a twist on the character. He does seem to be gunning for Peter in parts of the trailer, multiplying the trains in what looks like a face-off, plus the other mirror-dimension-like scenes, plus the aggressive way he's forcing Peter's astral form to leave his body. If that is true, then this film may see Strange become a villain. The reason why, however, is anyone's guess. There's another way that the good doctor might not be a good doctor at all. Screen Rant Features editor Alicia Grouso writes, Everyone saying Doctor Strange doing the spell even though it was dangerous seems out of character apparently forgot that Stephen Strange's foundation in the MCU is arrogance and the desire to test limits. Basically, if Doctor Strange isn't a villain, maybe he's just a jerk. Granted, he seemed more subdued in Infinity War and Endgame, but perhaps Tony Stark's death had a profound impact on him. It's possible Strange recognizes that Peter's identity being known to the world puts his life, as well as the safety of his loved ones, in jeopardy. He may be more willing to bend the rules a little bit if it means he can save another Avenger's life. Another factor worth bearing in mind is that the MCU Spider-Man trailers have a habit of bending the truth a little bit. This most notably occurred with the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer, which included a shot of Iron Man and Spider-Man going through through New York City together, it became an iconic moment, but it's nowhere to be found in the film itself. That's just one of the many lies the MCU has told in trailers. It's possible Doctor Strange's willingness to mess with the space-time continuum was edited for trailer purposes to make the story cleaner. We could find something entirely different once the film releases on December 17, 2021. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about Spider-Man are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.